In this video, we'll look at the number of valence electrons for Mn, that's manganese. So in the periodic table, there's a regular pattern for the main group elements. For example, group one, all of these elements, they have one valence electron. Group two, they all have two valence electrons. But we skip the transition metals. Here's manganese right here in the transition metals. We skip those groups 13 through 18, they have three through eight valence electrons. So the main groups, it's pretty easy. But for the transition metals like manganese, it's a little bit more difficult. Probably the best way is to write the electron configuration for manganese. So if we do that, this is what we end up with. And then let's put this in condensed notation. That'll make it a lot clearer. So here's manganese. We're looking for the noble gas before manganese on the periodic table. That would be argon right here. So we could condense all of this. This is the configuration for argon. Just put the symbol AR in brackets and leave this here. That would be the condensed notation for manganese. So here we go. We've condensed it. And now if we look outside of the noble gas core, this noble gas core here, we have 3D5 and 4S2. So we have five plus two. Manganese has seven valence electrons. Now it doesn't necessarily have to use all of these valence electrons when it forms chemical bonds. Sometimes it loses two of these, sometimes it loses four. So if it lost two, that would be Mn2+, the manganese two ion. So in that case, we'd write a zero here instead of two, and that would be the electron configuration for the Mn2+. If it lost three, it would become three plus, it would lose these two, this would become zero, and then this would become four. So to recap, we wrote the electron configuration for manganese. We put it in its condensed format, and then we looked at the electrons outside of the noble gas core. So we added these electrons here up to find the number of valence electrons for manganese, Mn. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.